Hey folks, Champask here, bringing you another audio commentary. Today between um, Infi and Fu. I know his name's not Fu, I know it translates as three eggs from Chinese, but I'm going to call him Fu just for simplicity's sake. And um, Fu, as you may know, uh, is uh, normally a human player, but he doesn't like to play Mirror, so against human he plays Elf. And um, that's what he's doing today, because Infi is um, the teal human player in the bottom left at the 7 o'clock position, and Fu is the purple night elf in the two o'clock position. And um immediately you'll see he has um an early Ancient of War and his Moonwell going up and no altar, so he's gonna be going for a tavern build. And uh Infi's like you said have an early militia. Probably hoping to um aggro the creeps on uh the Ancient of War, but since the Ancient of War was built so early, um Infi isn't gonna be able to do that. As you can see he's gonna go up and see that the Ancient of War started a while back. And so he's just gonna um do the standard <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he's gonna do the standard putting up a farm, just in the uh, next to the night elf tree of life to see what's happening in terms of tech, and um, this is very standard at this stage. And uh, this should probably be building the ancient of or altar of elders. Sorry, if not, yeah, there it goes there. Um, and there are a couple of heroes that, uh, or actually, there's a lot of heroes that health can use against um, a human when um, you're going for the tavern. Uh, especially if you're Thu, who's sort of known for his innovations. And um, Dark Ranger is really probably the most common, but we do occasionally see things like um, Panda or uh, Beastmaster. As you can see, um, Infi going for a very standard build, sort of he just putting up a second farm now, Archmage going up. And what he'll probably do is he'll probably just expand, put up some towers, and try and get a nice 80 food army, and then push. And sort of the human army against Elf is sort of fairly standard if you're actually going for an army rather than tanks. And that's just um, a mixture of spellbreakers, priests, uh, sorceresses, and uh, mortar teams. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is sort of quite easy to do, uh, quite easy to build up when you have such a large army as, or such a large income. And uh, Infi now just doing some very basic creeping at this point, and Thu has actually gone for the Tinker first. And uh, th that's something that's not overly common, but I have seen him do it quite a few times now, and so it's um, a strategy well worth paying attention to. And with this creep camp, you need to be very careful when you're creeping it, because and Thu's actually taking a lot of damage on this archer. He'll need to pull it back, and he does actually manage to do that in time. But if you um, tank with your Ancient of War, you can actually lose it if you're just going for an altar build, because you don't have that many... Um, you don't have that many archers up, you generally only have one, and or, or two if you go and create something else first, like uh, this small camp here, but uh, th since uh, Thu has a couple more archers, he's he's about okay, and he doesn't, and you can see, even with the extra archers, he still took a lot of damage on his Ancient of War, and, that, and it wasn't attacking at the beginning either, and he was repairing it with a wisp, so if you are just going to go and creep it first, you want two or three wisps constantly um, repairing it from the start, as well as obviously tr um, uh, eating a tree healing as well, and um, Thu immediately going back to uh, creep the smaller camp second. Uh, he creeped the bigger camp first just because it means that he's less like he can't be creep jacked at it. And um, Infi putting up a farm next to this Merc camp and going, I imagine, to creep this this mine here. You really have two options when you um when you mine uh, when you want to expand. You can uh, the both are sort of almost the same distance apart. And Thu's actually put down a um pocket factory just to take out this farm and that will do enough damage to take it out and it's a bit of a trade-off really because farms aren't very expensive whereas your man is worth quite a bit but uh obviously as a, with a t just a tinker and getting engineering upgrade seconds you generally have enough mana so it's probably something that's well worth doing and uh there's another scout farm here actually i'm not sure um if that's the most useful place to be scouting for Infi, but I guess he's decided it is, and Thu actually goes to put down another pocket factory, and is going to take out that one as well, and Thu also putting up a tree of life in response to the expansion that's probably coming here from Infi. A couple towers first, of course, because it's Infi, but um, that means an expansion will be going down there, and as you can see, this farm is taking a lot of damage, and the uh, robo-goblins will do enough to take it out, and Thu just picking up a couple of mercs to go uh, with with his army. They work quite well because obviously um, it's an entirely ranged army, so focus fire is very easy. And also there's a bit of healing, which is always quite useful. And the tinker just going around and scouting a bit. Picked up a boots and a um, staff of teleportation. And staff of teleportation can be quite useful, just because uh, 
Tinker often needs to go back just to get, uh, just to heal up and get mana and then go and harass as well. And he's very good on his own, so whatever um, he picks up at the second hero, he might do well just to uh, pick up, uh, just, just to leave his um, Tinker to go and harass while he uses his first hero to creep. And uh, as you can see, Thu put up a pocket factory in the back of um, the expansion here. And if um, Infi didn't take care of this, uh, it would it would do a lot of damage to the um, building peasants and would really slow them down. And so it means that uh, Infi has, is distracted for a while, which just allows um, Thu to put a bit more damage onto his units. And he's now chasing down a berserker. I don't think he'll get him though. And a militia actually coming in, just blocking the path, and actually doing a bit of damage to this archer here. And um, Thu quickly moves in to pick up another um, Shadow Troll Priest, f partially for the spell as well, really, because um, obviously the spelling's very good. And he gets surrounded, but he does have a Staff of TP and uses the Staff here. And he's taken a lot of damage, but he is Staffing to his Tree of Life, which is now done, and he will now go and creep with it. And I, don't, I think he should be able to creep just with um, the Tinker and the Tree of Life and this um, Shadow Priest. He shouldn't do anything else. Um, and Thu now moving up. I'm not sure what his tech is like. Yeah, he's just teching... He's almost done teching now, and he's putting up a hundred soul as well. So we we'll, we will probably see bear dryad at some point, even if it is um, not immediately. He'll probably just do dryads for the moment. As you can see, Infi hasn't teched yet, but he is his expansion is now up and running, and I imagine he'll start upgrading this tower soon because Tinker harass can actually be fairly effective. And Infi's actually coming in now just to um, attack Thu, whose expansion has taken a lot of damage. Actually, he should get it to eat another tree and should try and keep it away from this Archmage who could um, actually I don't think the Archmage could take it down on its own but um, if uh, Infi brought in some work, uh, some f footmen now that could do it and um, actually that's what he's doing right now and so hopefully no um, <laughs> Infi is going for the Tree of Life and it does manage to root which is quite lucky which means that um, nothing is blocked but it will actually go down anyways even if it does co cost Infi at least two units by the looks of it this Berserker is going to go down and um another footman here and the tree of life is very low and he actually runs back but uh, hadn't done quite enough damage yet and so has to put a couple more shots on it and so um Infi has taken a quite a bit of damage but it's done well significantly um enough and uh Thu m will probably start to rebuild that because he's already crept out the spot now i'm not sure maybe that wisp is now just going to rebuild the tree of life in position and in if he's putting up a second tower and an arcane vault just to block off the um uh the the pathing towards the tower so it's a bit harder to reach them and if he's also sort of teching to keep now he's more than halfway and putting up a lumber mill and a blacksmith so um clearly we're going to see sort of quite a wide range of units being produced once he does reach tier two and uh just doing a bit of creeping now this will actually get him level four which is quite nice you'll notice he's brought his ancient of war um up just to creep just uh, it's quite nice to do just bring the Ancient of War around to um, a creep spot and then you can just leave it there until you feel the need to creep it. It also acts as a bit of a scout as well if it's sort of an overpowered one. And um, Infi gets, or um, Thu gets a Pendant of Energy which is a decent item. As I said, um, Thu will probably have enough mana on his Tinker um, for most of the game so he picks up a Panda. I imagine uh, when that Panda reaches level 2 or level 3 he'll pass off that Pendant of Mana to the Panda who can be a very intensive, or a mana intensive hero. And uh, Infi actually just doing, or through just scouting Infi's face there, and uh, Infi putting up two more towers. You know, it's two arcane towers. That's because sort of mana is so important for um, Infi's heroes, and uh, he's just putting some damage on this barracks now. Really, he'd like to go for something else. He'd like to actually be put this pocket factory next to the peasant line, and just um, kill a couple of peasants, but he can't because of these towers, and so he's just having to do damage to the barracks and. Uh, uh, Infi TPing in, but TPing a bit far back, and uh, I think this barracks will now go down, which will sort of par at least temporarily destroy the um, base defenses of Infi because there'll be such there's such an open path into Infi's base now, and you can see these uh, clockwork goblins just run in, actually doing a fair bit of splash damage, and have done about 150 damage to the main base of Infi. And um, what I've seen Thu do before is he just does this many many times. And uh, eventually, he can just come in with his uh, level six tinker and just sort of take down buildings really easily because they've all been slightly damaged. As you can see, the blacksmith's been slightly damaged as well. That's just from the um, from the goblins just um, exploding and doing some siege damage or doing some slash damage.